My first tattoo I got when I was 16 and it says NAR on my ass. And I got it because it was awesome. My first tattoo was actually my knuckles. I know it goes completely against tattoo etiquette, but it's um stay gold and it's an outsider's reference obviously i got it for my dad because it was the first movie him and i had watched together and so it's a reminder of our the relationship i have with my father as well as the daily pick me up you know just stay gold keep on keeping on basically uh the first tattoo that i got was four stars going behind my ear um i was 14 in new york city and i kind of just got it out of impulse and uh yeah it kind of just that's how it started and just kept going from then on it, I have a biohazard symbol on my chest. It was just me being young, just turned 18, said that one. Wasn't too smart. How many tattoos do you have? Uh, I, don't, I don't even know anymore, and uh, a lot of them uh, merge and go into each other. So, uh, like, I guess I have eight. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all together. Uh, in total, I have 11, ta 11 piercings and 15 tattoos, about roughly. Piercings I could probably count. I, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9. Oh, 10, 11. 11. Well, my most meaningful tattoo is uh, on my chest and it's, uh, it says commitment and there's a diamond and it's supposed to represent how um, steadfast and sturdy I am about the things I believe in. There's not a whole lot of things I believe in, so I just I really like those uh, few things that I do and I just have to hold on to them. What are people's reactions when they find out you're a tattoo artist? They have a very like A or 80 reactions. Some people think it's like it's really nice and cool, you know, like you probably do what you love for a living and all that. And sometimes like you're actually hanging out with someone but they don't know you well and they discover you are a tattoo artist. They, how I say, and the question before, they, some people even today, they tend to turn their head off. How much money do you think you've spent on body art? Um. Uh, I could have gotten a pretty cool car if I didn't get any tattoos. I could have had a lot of nice things if I didn't have any tattoos, but I don't want any tattoos. Uh, by now, it's probably been about two grand, more or less. Yeah. Explain what happened to your ears. Well, I stretched them once before, and the right one blew out, which is basically when the skin follows the taper, so it's hanging out like that much. Restretched them again and got to two inches, and I accidentally ended up with a flesh-eating virus called necrosis, which slowly ate away at a section of my ear around here, and it inevitably just broke, and for about five months I had something dangling off the side of my head. Do you feel like you have an important job? Oh, yeah. I, get, I give a memory for someone for life. I can't. I don't have a trial for a tattoo. I have to do, do what I have to be done. <laughs> Point blank. Do you think people look at you differently? Do you tattoos? Uh, no, I haven't really noticed, so I'd say no. They don't. Oh, without a doubt. It's everything from people who try to hold it to themselves to the full-on disgusting stares that I get every day. Um, body modifications definitely get you a lot of um, unwanted attention and uh, people pass a lot of judgments on you and they assume a lot of things about you that you're that you could be you know a bad person or that you know you don't do anything with your life when it really and it could be the complete opposite you know I know myself I strive and I try to do the best I can for myself but sometimes all people see are, are your body modifications and it uh, definitely can hold you back a little bit sometimes. That's why I tend to cover mine up sometimes, for, especially for job interviews. And if I meet new people, sometimes I don't like them to see that because I don't want them to pass their initial judgment just based off of my tattoos. Like, the stares and glares that people give sometimes are practically borderline offensive. Like, people look at me and they, they seem to think that 
I don't know that it's there and that I'm some kind of freak and etc etc I've seen you know parents pull their children closer to them as I walk by and I personally don't think I'm that bad um, in the workplace it sucks trying to get a job when you have gauges when you have facial piercings and whatnot when you got ta uh, tattoos going all the way to the ends of your arms it doesn't exactly help anything but I also am a firm believer in being yourself and being creative being different setting yourself aside